A Raspberry Pi is nothing more than just a miniature computer, but one thing it does that a regular computer doesn't have is it has general purpose input and output pins. So uh, you can send signals here and you can also receive signals. So whether you're using a Raspberry Pi like this with all these pins, or if you have a keyboard style like this that has a Raspberry Pi built in, it has all the connections here. So to connect up these pins, you can use a ribbon cable. So we have a ribbon cable here and we would just plug that in. Let's see if I can get this plugged in. Plugged in right there. Now this breaks out all the pins to this side here, this GPIO extension board. And this can now be put placed directly into the breadboard such as this. So we want to make sure it straddles that center line on the breadboard. So this center line here. So make sure it straddles that center line. And we should be able to just to press this down into the board. And there we go. So now we can make connections on the left-hand side or the right-hand side here on the breadboard. 